good morning ma'am very good morning what is your good name my name is suchita yeah suchita can i get your resume yeah ma'am Yeah. Okay. Say something about yourself. Good morning, ma'am. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Ola Jisuchita. I am basically from Mulugu Budaram. I currently staying in Hyderabad, and I recently completed my degree graduation in the stream of BCom Computers from Sangamitra Degree College, Bhopal, Pali. I completed my intermediate from TS Model Junior College. Ganpur I completed my schooling TS model high school in Ganpur and I have good knowledge in dotnet and my strengths are I have quick learning ability and adaptable to new environment and my weakness are I'm afraid of heights and accidents and I am belonging to nuclear family my short term goal is to get a job in well reputed company and my long term goal is to achieve a good position in my career and organization too lastly I am very honest and disciplined person and i'm always interested to learn new things and new technology to enhance my skills that's all about me thank you okay what is your hobbies my hobbies are chatting with friends and listening to music yes uh, come to the subject uh, what is dotnet and frameworks dotnet framework is a software platform framework for building and running applications on windows dotnet framework is a part of the dotnet and it supports languages like c sharp dotnet and vb dotnet etc okay. what is cllr in dotnet cllr stands for common language runtime it's an execution engine for all dotnet languages and application developed in any dotnet languages runs based on cllr only cllr is a part of dotnet framework pre installed in windows there are seven components of cllr first one class loader memory manager git compiler and uh, thread manager exemption manager garbage collector and security manager variables in dotnet variable is a name and memory location in the ram and store the particular data values during the program execution and the variables must be declared before the usage okay. what is cli CLI stands for Common Language Infrastructure, and first source code will be written by the developer, and that source code will be converted into MSIL code by the compiler. MSIL code uh, stands for Microsoft Intermediate Language, and that MSIL code converts into Native Machine Language by the CLR. Native Machine Language, also known as Binary Language, which is ones and zeros. What is uh, ADO dot net? Ado.net. It contains a set of predefined classes. It can be used by the all types of .NET operations and languages, and it based on databases, uh, insert, deleting, and uh, updating, etc. Okay. What are operators in .NET? Operators are symbols to perform operations, and uh, operators are uh, receives uh, one and more values. and uh, returns only one value and operators are seven types so they are arithmetic operators assignment operators increment and decrement operators comparison operators concatenation operators ternary operators and logical operators arithmetic operators are arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations on the numbers like uh, addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus and assignment operators assignment operators are used to perform Use it to store the data in a variable, and it and it our arithmetic operators are assigns to, and add assigns to, subtract assigns to, multiple assigns to, divisible assigns to, and modulus assigns to. Comparison operators. Comparison operators are uh, compares two data values, and executes uh, and returns boolean data which is true or false, and based on the conditions. And comparison operators are. Uh, equals to not equals to less than greater than less than or equals to and greater than or equals to so coming to data types and uh, what are data types in dotnet data types are two types they are primitive data type and non primitive data type primitive data types are strictly stored in one one single values and non non primitive data types are uh, stored one or more values and primitive data types are s byte byte int u int short u short long u long and uh, float decimal double and char bool and non primitive data types are string 
class interfaces structures and enumerations this here l stands for base class library it contains a predefined classes that uses that can be uses in all types of dotnet applications and languages in general input and output uh, uh, operations can you please explain about loops concept loops like a repeat button in programming and it helps you to uh, allow, it helps you to automatic repetitive tasks and re repetitive of the over collection of data Winforms in .NET. It contains a set of predefined classes that can be used in uh, window applications and GUI applications and such, uh, it developed by GUI elements such as text box, forms and uh, switch box etc. What is CLS? CLS stands for Common Language Specification. It contains a set of uh, rules and that is used to all type of uh, .NET applications like uh, C Sharp applications and languages like C Sharp .NET and VB .NET etc. Yes. Okay, Suchita, uh, your interview is done. Okay, you can leave and I will get back to you.